Hello everybody, my name is Zia and I will be your instructor for this course of Blazo. In this course, we will start from the very beginning, from the very basic of Blazo and we will develop applications on the server side using SignalR and we will learn about creating the applications using WebAssembly where C Sharp works on the client side, yes, in the browser. That's a new concept of WebAssembly that is definitely going to revolutionize the development of web applications. In this course, we'll work in detail with the components. We'll learn to create custom components. We'll embed those components into other components. We'll work with their parent-child behavior and their relationships, their data bindings and event handling. We'll work with forms and validations. We'll work with security, authentication, and authorization. And finally, we'll wrap up this course with the development of a full fledged Blazor project in which we'll make use of SQL Server database using Entity Framework Core. So the first question arises over here that why do we need a new framework Blazor while we already have React, Angular and various other JavaScript frameworks. The problem is all these frameworks work on the client side and to interact with the server we definitely need a server side language and we already have JavaScript available since around two decades i think it was introduced in 95 or 96 and it is around us since the very beginning of internet and since then various frameworks have been introduced time by time but all those frameworks made the work of a developer complicated and a developer has to learn so many new frameworks to make a very interactive web application he has to learn either angular or react to work with the client sites and he has to learn c sharp or the java or the php to work on the server side and for the interaction for the communication various services frameworks are out there so here blazor comes into action that c sharp now can work on both sides on the server side and on the client side and we can take full advantage of JavaScript as well. That doesn't mean that we cannot use JavaScript in Blazor project. We can use and we can definitely make use of various existing JavaScript functions. But we can share the logic written in C Sharp on the client side and server side. We can only make use of C Sharp for both sides of development. And we can be more productive using Visual Studio on Windows, on Linux, and on Mac OS because everything has gone cross platform right now. We can take full advantage of .NET's performance, its reliability, its security, and the large libraries that are already around us since a very long time. So, we have two types of Blazor projects available, server-side Blazor and client-side Blazor. In server-side, let me explain you in more detail that our project resides on the server and our DOM, document object model, which is basically a browser, remains updated using the signal R connection. Various requests are made towards client and various requests are made from client towards server. And the DOM remains updated. I'm going to give you a demonstration of this server side application right now. And for the client side, this is definitely a revolution in the development of web application. Here C sharp works in the browser and C sharp while working on the browser can connect with the uh, server using various APIs using gRPC, using Azure functions, uh, using various other methods or the web APIs and C Sharp runs on the browser uh, using the WebAssembly. It's definitely a whole new concept and it's going to launch in near future. At the time of this video recording, uh, WebAssembly development is available in the preview version of Studio 2019. The version I am using is 16.4. For that, I have to install a separate template for client side development. Okay. Whenever we move towards the development of a new project, we used to ask us that what type of browser application we want to create, either server application or the web assembly app. So, here, let me give you a demo. This is my Blazor server application. And when I will navigate between the pages, you can see the browser over here. There is no any request being made towards server. And when I'm clicking this button, 
you might think that there is a javascript function behind this button but there is no javascript function there is a c sharp function working at the back of this button let me show you one more thing if i come into inspect and i come into network let's monitor the network traffic over here when i'll hit the refresh there will be request towards server but when let me clear this data but when i'll navigate between the pages there won't be any request towards the server and on this click okay now let me show you the function working on at the back of this button here is my counter page and here is the button that i was clicking on and this is the event that's being called on the click of this button and this is our function that is written in c sharp there is no javascript but the page was not refreshing it was uh, the browser was updated using signal r connection so that's the beauty of blazor that we can use c sharp and uh, giving the feel that we are working javascript and without the refresh of pages we can get the data back and forth from the server so this was the simple introduction of blazor what you need to do join me on youtube join me on facebook or join me on twitter or log on to my website www.zahamashek.com and subscribe my channel here and stay connected thank you